Hey, welcome back into today's video. Full disclaimer, this video is going to be a little bit weird. We're gonna be talking about pedophilia, um, but don't worry, it's not gonna contain any of the extreme situations, so I don't feel like I need a trigger warning. We're gonna be talking about how Tumblr, is, they did their con 18 plus content ban, and then there seems to be talk in the community about uh, a sudden influx of pedophilia and pro pedophilia movement let's get into that get 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 your yeah rep mug up oh, ow so hot tumblr will permanently ban adult content from its platform on december 17th in a move that will eradicate porn related communities on the platform and fundamentally alter how the service is used the ban includes explicit sexual content and nudity with a few exceptions the company tells verge the new policy announcement comes just days after it was removed from apple's ios app store at over a child pornography incident but it extends far beyond the matter alone adult content will no longer be allowed here the company fully stated in a blog post published on monday wow now we've seen uh, philip defranco talk about this just the other day and he said as far as the reason for this change this seems to be a part of an effort to clean up the site since it was bought by verizon in 2017 and in fact the ceo of verizon oath which is tumblr's parent company said that they have no interest in adult content adding there are no shortage of sites on the internet that feature adult content we will the thing is i think it's a really moral move i think that they want to be more family friendly i think they see that as the direction to go who are we to judge that um but is it a financially smart move as the majority of their content? Yeah, there was a lot of, of it that was adult. I'm left wondering if Tumblr is killing itself. Well, we don't know the exact finances, the complete inner workings of Tumblr. It does appear, at least based on what's out there, that adult content was a big pull for them. Back in 2013, TechCrunch reported that a full 11.4% of Tumblr's top 200,000 sites were porn related. But also, it seems like they're more moral and just, and I think it's kind of cool that companies are wanting to be like that. They said that there are websites that you can go to uh, for porno pornography and different things like that and they said to go to them. Tumblr is banning adult content. It's about so much more than that. The controversial change will take place on December 17th. Existing posts will be flagged and you won't be able to see that creator. It goes on to say that debate is raging about what Tumblr's user base will even look like at that point. Given how much of the community is involved in erotica and explicit imagery, discussion of the ban consumed social media throughout Monday evening and Tumblr's users responded with a mixture of outrage, worry, and funny memes. A lot of those users started coming to Twitter, but I'm told it seems that there has been a sudden influx of pro pedophilia content, and we're only uh, we're only guess is that it, they're coming from Tumblr because of the 18 plus content ban. You would think that you would see just a, a large influx of all sexual themed content, and if you guys have seen anything like that, let me know below. Tumblr announces ban of 18 plus content, sudden influx of pedophile on Twitter. Hmm. One user says, wait until Reddit does the same thing, Twitter will be flooded. Wouldn't pedophiles be happy about there being less 18 plus content? I get it, haha. <laughs> Thread of pedophilic accounts on Twitter, please be aware that these people are sexually attracted to children. We can see right here, uh, this is a, I guess this is a organization page, we'll check that out in just a second, it says, human being primary prevention advocate pedophile sex abuse survivor and owner of blog and website pedophile does not equal rapist it says and if you, for those of you that are unaware um pedophile pedophilia is the attraction to children this does not mean that they are guilty of um committing through to the action of touching a child but it does mean that they are definitely 100 percent attracted to adolescents and uh, I feel like the the debate among this in more in more recent years uh, has risen to a height where it's becoming like you have people that are advocating for pedophilia and trying to say that it's a mental illness. It's it's uh, it should be looked at from a point of compassion, and I can see where um, humanitarians want to want to seek out to understand these type of behaviors and these people so that they can better help them but they're saying that this is something that needs to be brought to attention and I, I know and I realize that this topic is a very 
it's a very new topic. It's a very hard to talk about topic. It's something that's hard to swallow. Um, I do want to know from the com a community standpoint, how do you feel? Do you think that these people should be pitied and that they should be uh, taken care of, that their mental disorder is no different from uh, anorexia or an eating disorder, anything like that? Let me know below. An organization that claims they are against sexual relations with a child, big laugh. Virtuous pedophiles. Virtuous pedophiles. We are pedophiles against adult child sex. We support each other in that goal. To join our forum or more media inquiries, please email us here. Robert West is another Twitter user, says 50-ish year old anti-contact pedophile virgin. Um, I, I, I'm looking at all of this and I'm seeing this and I'm thinking like, um, I just, I'm not sure, and this, like I'm saying, this is, this may be eons above my level of understanding, but it doesn't seem like we want to perpetuate this type of thing. We don't want to like say, oh, you're attracted to children. Well, it's okay. Come here, take a seat. Uh, we'll figure it out. I just, I don't want to say, I don't want people to go around thinking that uh, pedophilia is okay. MAP is an acronym for minor attracted persons. Pedophiles use this term to address themselves as being pedo, but don't want people to come after them. This is how they're able to hide their pedos in plain sight and find others who are like them. Now see, this is why, because the, the line is so thin with this topic. I don't want, I don't know if it's a good idea to advocate for pedophilia, especially on social media, and say that, oh, you're a pedophile, well, it's okay, I'll still talk to you, it's okay to do this, it's okay, I don't know, because it could be so easy to manipulate and catch children off guard this way, and I don't know if we want to, if we want to advocate like this, and then, uh, have one day a world where this is just as common as a, a disorder as uh, bulimia and then we would have a youtuber that blows up uh for this disorder on a public platform and i'm thinking that if this is something that can be related similar to an eating disorder mentally then would youtube even allow something like that an advocation of something like that or any other content platform and like i said i know this is like this this conversation that we're having right now is probably years ahead of its time we we'll might have to come back to it in about 10 years this is one twitter user here and they've they've shown some of the wild and just unheard of not very Oh, heard of ideals of the pedophilia community people above the age of consent aren't protected by an age of consent and it doesn't matter because rape and sexual assault are illegal so what are age of consent laws for they're unnecessary they're redundant at best and tyrannical and harmful at worst all age of consent laws do is allow the government to punish additional people who don't deserve it rape and sexual assault legislation can be used for actual criminals and predators like is done is done for people who rape or sexually assault adults statutory rape is a bs term when it's actual rape you just say rape you don't put a word in front of it statutory rape means consensual sexual activity that government and society don't approve of so what I'm getting out of that is this person, this is a pedophilia, an advocate for pedophilia who is upset with uh, protection of uh, adults sexual, sexually involving themselves with a minor because they feel like it should not exist and it should be treated the same as sex with a uh, consensual from adult to adult. Um, I think that we can both see the issues and difficulties with believing in something like this. And if this is the type of stuff that they're advocating for, um, I don't think I don't think it has a place in the public eye. I, I, my personal opinion is that um, if they if they do if someone finds themselves uh, sexually attracted to a child, they do need help. They do they definitely do need help. I can see uh, that as being uh, an issue that needs to be fixed before something escalates. Uh, but as interesting as this is, I'm always interested more in what you guys think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Like I said, this is a touchy subject. I'm treading very safely around the words that I use in this topic because I don't want to polarize any uh, amount of people. I don't want to hate on anyone. I'm trying to uh, look at this with a bridge of compassion, but in my personal stance, 
I don't know if we should advocate for something like this. That being said, I know that you got your Greg sweater. You need to get it, okay? Because mine's fixing to come in the mail. And if you don't got it, they're going to be gone. You will never be able to get them again. And they are the coolest that I've ever seen. And you need them because I know that you're repping if you're not repping your Greg. And how do you become a member of the Red Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe to the notification channel. Be in the comment section for every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat is gonna be there. And the rest of the Red Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. <laughs> it's, it's difficult. It's a difficult situation, no doubt.